what's up beautiful people welcome back to our channel today we are doing some yummy yummy keto and i mean good good i am going to be doing um a keto spaghetti today and also we're gonna see if my favorite fried fish can keto this is a first for me so i don't know so we about to find that out together all right all right so as always, you want to wash your hands, of course, before you do any cooking. Just cook, you know, you want to be clean, right? Okay, all right. Here are most of my ingredients that I'm going to be using today. Um, here are some nutrition facts. You guys, I'm going to get into detail later on in this video about why I choose what I choose to make it keto. I got a lot of questions last time. I'm answering all of your questions about the ingredients that I use to make it a keto. A keto, keto. Because you know, keto, you, you can't have everything. You, you, you be wanting everything, but you, you can't have everything on keto. So you have to you know, you got to make some adjustments here and there. And I got you, okay? Make sure you make these adjustments, though, if you want to make it keto. Otherwise, it's not going to be keto. All right? So just pay attention to what's going on here. Um, these are just some of the things that I'm using. You know, again, a lot of this stuff is optional. It just depends on what it is that you're, you know, what your end game is. That's what matters, all right? So, first and foremost, I am going to just, you know, give a nice little saute to those onions and peppers. Put a little garlic at the end because garlic burns, so you don't want to put it in right away. We got that good grass-fed beef going on in all of the ingredients. Everything that I use will be in the description box, so don't fret. If you feel like it's going too fast, I got you in the description box. As far as the seasonings, I'm going to give you an estimate of the the amount of seasonings that I use. You know, I let the ancestors speak to me when I season my food, so I don't always measure, but I got you. Don't worry. Just check the description box. These Miracle Noodles are really, really good. The texture is really kind of just one that you got to, you know, get used to, but I got a trick for that. Now, look at this. Look, oh, come on. Anybody else get excited when their food turns out the way you want it to? I know I do. Here, I'm just cutting the noodles. I know it looks weird, but these noodles are super duper long. That's why I do that. Look, see, I like to let all these flavors marinate. You know, they got to marinate. You got to let those juices and things get together and fellowship with each other. You know, that, that's what I like to do right there. Then you just add your sauce, you guys. This sauce is wonderful for keto. It is wonderful, okay? You guys will notice I use a lot of garlic powder and onion powder. Notice I said powder and not salt, okay? And the Lowry's that I use is 25% less sodium. I'm just conscious of stuff like that. So I like to, you know, do it as healthy as I can. So we're going to just let that simmer. Now, let me tell you something. One of my viewers suggested that I dry the noodles this way and it will help with that texture. I'm going to let you know if it worked or not later on in the video. Okay, so let's jump on this fish. This is cod. Now, this is a first for me, you guys. I have never fried fish in almond flour. I don't even know if it's possible, honey. My nerves were shot during this whole process because I love fried fish. I was like, if I mess this up, I'm going to be so ashamed of myself and my family is going to be ashamed and everybody that I know is going to be ashamed because you're not supposed to mess up fried fish, okay? You're just not. So, you know, but I, I, I want to make it as keto as possible. So we're going to see. So that's the almond flour right there. It's really different than regular flour. So... That's just what that is. But we're going to see. We're going to see, y'all. Keep your fingers crossed, okay? Just going to fry that up, and uh, we see how it goes. But the texture is lovely, you guys. It's wonderful. We're about to see how it tastes, okay? I don't know, but y'all just stay tuned, all right? All right. 
What's up, what's up, what's up, people? It's your girl Mary coming to you with another keto inspired meal. I did a keto spaghetti before and a lot of people asked for the recipe and what I did. I had a yearning for some fried fish, y'all. So I was like, let me see if it'll fry in almond flour. Hopefully the taste is there, honey, cause that's what I need, that taste, that flavor. And we are gonna see if this fried fish was able to keto like I wanted it to keto. Cause sometimes stuff can't keto, you know. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you and praise you for another day. Thank you, Lord, for this food, which I'm about to receive. I love you so much. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Y'all, I love hot sauce. So, if you don't know, now you know, no, no. Oh, yes, oh, yes, yes, Lord. I'm gonna talk about some of these ingredients too that I use to make it keto. But I'm gonna have my, ooh, that's hot, 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 hot. Mm, mm. Mm hmm. This is what I want right here. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is good. This is good and flavorful. One of my viewers who saw my previous. Um, keto pasta. I don't know if it was the fettuccine one or the keto spaghetti one, but they suggested, made a suggestion to me that I add a step and dry the noodles on the stove, like in a pan. And it, it definitely has helped that, the texture of the noodles. Mm-hmm. Easier to chew the whole nine. So I appreciate you. I appreciate that tip, honey, and I will be using that from now on. These are miracle noodles that I got from, what? The Fresh Market. Yeah, I know. Mm. This is so good. Mm. I'm so scared. Let me see what's up with this fish. Here's the, um, mm -mm. you get in my face. It got my face again. <laughs> Let's see about this taste. Uh -oh. Wow. I'm excited about that. I can fry my fish in almond flour. This is good. This is really good. That's good. I'm trying not to talk while I'm eating. Let me just say this. This should definitely go without saying, but there's literally a microphone right in front of my face. So, um, you know, you're gonna hear eating sounds. That's just what it is. You, I'm, I'm eating, so. Just throwing that out there. Mmm. I'm happy about this. This hit the spot. This hit the spot. Mmm. It's really good, you guys. It's really good. Hold on. Zibia. Very important. Here are the facts. There's only one carb per serving, and there's one gram of sugar per serving. Now, I did some research on possible pasta sauces that I can use while on keto. And this is one of them that came up, but I can't use that one because it's, it's it just has a little bit too much sugar in it for me. 
Now, I'm not super strict keto, but I wanna have my numbers as low as possible so I can eat like I want to. Sometimes I'll see things and it'll say like 15 gram of carbs and it's like, well, I could do it, but if this is the only time in the day I'ma eat, then fine, but mm -mm. So, I like to make sure my numbers are super duper low. This is good. And my husband likes this too, and he's not even on keto. So, that's always a good thing. This is the almond flour that I use to fry my fish. It's King Arthur flour. Usually I use um, Pillsbury almond flour, but they were out. This was my second choice. Total carbs per serving, um, there's three grams and there's one gram of fiber. So net carbs, two. Total sugar, one gram. So that's that. Also, y'all, I'm telling you now, don't fight me on this, all right? I like sugar in my scrumettes. <laughs> I like sugar in my spaghetti, so does my family. So we're not finna debate this. I like sugar in my grits too. When I could eat grits, I can't eat them right now. So, uh, so this swirl brown sugar, I, I love this stuff. It doesn't affect the blood sugar. No sugars, no added sugars, four grams of carbs. It tastes and measures just like regular brown sugar. Sometimes that's the, that's the get you gotcha. That's the catch 22. When you are using sugar substitutes, First of all, some of them are terrible for your body. Second of all, they don't um, measure equally to sugar. With that being said, you gotta be careful. Get it? Get it? Get it? Okay. This is really good. Mm. I'm eating cod, by the way. And I like cod because it's mild. Seafood. I don't like it when it's fishy. I won't eat it. Mm, this is so good. I definitely wanted to just jump on and give you guys the recipe because you asked for it. And also, to see if I can make this fried fish keto. And I did. Mm. We made it keto. We made it keto. Oh, 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 oh. Tomato model. You never know until you try. And it's good. It's good. It's hit the spot. It's sure enough hit the spot. Mmm. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I like when fish is like flaky. But still firm. Well flaky. Firm flaky. I like that. Yeah, this is really good. Oh my gosh. Boom. Guess what else? Tomorrow, I am making my husband a Hennessy butter cake. Now, I can't eat it, but you know, as long as he enjoys it, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. For some reason, I'm like mad into baking here lately. Mm -hmm. I've always loved to cook, but not necessarily bake. I've never been a big baker, but. Honey, I've been baking all kinds of stuff here lately. Mm. <sighs> I gotta do it. I always feel like I'm on a Dr. Zebia commercial and not getting paid for it. Zebia, <laughs> if you're listening. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting full. Great meal. Your fish can fry in almond flour. Bam, we done figured it out. This fish can keto. Let me know in the comments if you want to see if anything else will keto. Hey, is there a way to make this keto? 
you know, let me know what you want to see me keto and I will try to do it. Some stuff's going to work, some stuff is not. So don't be like, she ain't even, she tried to, um, don't do that. <laughs> some stuff can keto, some stuff probably cannot. So be blessed, be safe y'all. Until next time, peace, a peace, peace, peace. Bye.